Hey, honey. Are you still at work? Yes, it's only 3 p.m. I'm still working. What's up? My parents want you to quit your job ASAP. I honestly think you should hand in your resignation letter today. What? I thought we had worked this out before. I told you that I wouldn't quit my job. Honey, that job is so low paid. You can stay at home as a housewife and take good care of our baby. What? You want me to be a housewife staying at home all day, even though I can work, just because I'm pregnant? I mean, honey, you're five months pregnant, and the doctor told us that you should be very careful because your health isn't good. So I think you should stay at home to assure there would be no harm to our baby. Honey, there will be no harm to our baby even if I go to work. This job is safe. I don't have to move much. I'm only sitting at my desk doing paperwork. There's no harm at all. What's going on through your head, though? I'm worried about you and our baby. What if you had a miscarriage while working? What? I'm not going to have a miscarriage. I'm taking good care of our baby, so no need to overreact like that. I'm not overreacting. I'm telling the truth. They say that women can easily have a miscarriage in this stage of pregnancy. Says who? Well, my mom says. Your mom? She's not a doctor. And just so you know, I asked my doctor about what I should do to protect my baby, and he never said that I had to quit my job. Honey, please, just listen to me this one time, okay? We've been waiting for this child for years. I don't want to lose her. I don't want to have to wait for another five years. I know. I don't want to lose her either. I assure you she'll be fine and strong and healthy, no matter where I am, either at work or at home. I promise. I understand this, but this time, I have to put my foot down, okay? We've made a decision, honey. You will quit your job today. We? Who's we? You and your parents? Yes. They're the owners of the house you're living in, remember? So you have to listen to them. My mom wants you to stay at home and be a housewife. Don't worry, honey. She'll help you with the cooking and cleaning. Wow. I cannot believe that my life is being decided by three people and I'm not even one of them. What if I said no? I'm sorry, you have no choice. I see. Sounds like you guys won't let it go until I quit my job, huh? Come on, honey. It's not a big deal. You stay at home, and that means you'll have more time with our daughter. You'll see her growing up on a day-by-day -day basis. That'll be amazing, right? You're right. I'm thinking about that. Maybe I'll quit at the end of this month. No, that's too late. You'll already be six months pregnant then. Why don't you just quit today? I cannot quit my job suddenly like that. Maybe you've forgotten, but I have an important role in this department. And if I quit this job out of the blue, there will be a big mess, and everyone will call me an irresponsible woman who selfishly cares about herself only. I don't want that title. All right, calm down. I understand. You can work till the end of this month. But please, make sure that you'll hand in your resignation letter today, okay? Okay, I'll do that. Thank you, honey. I'm so happy that you'll have more time to take care of our baby. She'll be definitely a healthy baby. I love you both. I hope so. Love ya. Hey, Vanessa. My son told me that you finally agreed to quit your job and be a housewife, huh? Hi, Yamara. Yes, I've made up my mind. Samuel was just so sincere that I couldn't deny him anymore. Good! You should have agreed to my idea sooner. If I were your husband, I would never let you say no to me twice. What took you so long to make up your mind? Well, I was taught to be an independent woman, so I never thought of quitting my job just because I'm pregnant. I think that's a bit overboard. Huh! Overboard? That's pretty careless of you to say. May I remind you that it took you a very long time to finally get pregnant? What if you make a big mistake and lose my grandchild while you're working without my supervision? I asked my doctor for advice and he said there will be no harm to the baby if I'm working. I also told Samuel, but he blew it off. I can understand because he's the father and a man. He doesn't know about this stuff as well as me. But you, you're a mother. I can't believe that you let him get away with that idea. No doubt that was a good move on my part, because you're such a careless mother. So we have to protect that child. I thought you had made up your mind, didn't you? 
Yes, I did. I already handed in my resignation letter. I'm just telling you that I still want to go to work. Okay, then stop it here. I don't care what you want now. You will be a housewife from now on. That's it. No more discussion. Okay. Vanessa, are you free to talk? Hi, Amara. Yes, I am. The baby's sleeping, so I have a little time now. Great! Now that you've given birth, it's time for you to get out and find a job. I'm sorry, what? What do you mean? I'm ordering you to find a job ASAP. You're spending too much of my son's money. Don't you feel ashamed of yourself for just staying at home? But I've just given birth like a week ago. I cannot go to work right away. The baby needs her mom more than I need a job. Moreover, every mother should take at least six weeks off following childbirth. Not just a week, like you said. Six weeks? That's excessive. You've been wasting too much money over the last four months. Now that my grandchild was born healthily, you have to go to work to make up for that money. Okay, listen, Amara. I'll definitely return to work, but not now. I need more time to recover from childbirth. Besides, the first month is very important, so I need to stay with my baby 24-7. I'll take care of your baby, so don't make excuses. You can go to work now. Anyway, she doesn't need you that much. What? No! Are you being serious? I'm not ready to go to work yet. I need more time. You're a mother, so you must understand how hard it is to have a baby. How could you tell me to go back to work right now? Ugh, Vanessa. I see that you're being so lazy. Don't use your baby as an excuse for not working. Shame on you. I'm not lazy, okay? I was still working until you and my husband forced me to quit my job when I was five months pregnant, remember? If you're blaming me for being lazy, blame yourself first because you made me stay at home. Ugh! How dare you talk to me like that? Shame on you. Lazy and disrespectful. I should have stopped this marriage. It was my fault to let my son marry you. I was just telling the truth. You two persuaded me to be a housewife to take care of my child. Now I'm doing exactly what you want. You should be happy. Are you telling me to be happy with a lazy, useless daughter-in-law? Ha! <laughs> That's so ridiculous. I'm not useless. I graduated from college, and I had a good job. I'm just prioritizing my newborn daughter first. Also, Samuel told me that I didn't need to worry about the money because he would be in charge of making money. Vanessa, do you really think that my son would support you financially for the rest of your life? Let me tell you, there is no way. Not the rest of my life, but presently. He said he would take care of me and our daughter, which means he'll make money for our three people family. So he has to keep his word. Besides, I don't say that I'll be a housewife forever. I'll get a job when the time comes, but after another two months at least. What an impudent woman. You don't listen to me at all, do you? You care about yourself only. Don't you see how hard my son is working day by day to give you the money? He's such a great husband. But look at you. Just a shameless, ungrateful ugly wife excuse me you said i'm what do i have to repeat myself well i'm out i don't think we can keep this conversation going you're being ridiculous i'll talk to my son and i'm sure he'll be more understanding and reasonable than you just a heads up if you cannot find a job in one week i'll throw you out of this house what you cannot do that to your grandchild's mother that's cruel. This is my house, so I can do whatever I want. And it's obvious that I don't want to keep a lazy, useless, ungrateful woman in my house, no matter who she is. No, I don't think Samuel will let you treat me like that. We'll see. Honey, how's everything at home? Are you okay with our little kitty? Hi, honey. Everything is okay. She's just fallen asleep. She's sleeping all day long, huh? I can't wait to see her tonight. I miss my daughter so much. <laughs> You've been apart for like five hours. 
you've just met her like a week ago. But you even miss her more than the woman you've married five years ago. Should I be jealous of my own daughter? Oh, <laughs> that's because she's my daughter. I wouldn't be like this if it would have been a boy, I swear. Okay, maybe I'll send you some of her pictures, you clingy young man. Thank you, honey. By the way, Mom told me that she had a conversation with you this morning, right? Oh, yes. I almost forgot about it. You won't believe this. She ordered me to go to work right away, or else she'd kick me out of her house. What nonsense! Nonsense? Why do you say that? I mean, at first she wanted me to stay at home as a housewife, but now that I've just had the baby, she's telling me to return to work immediately, even though my daughter is just one week old. That's cruel to both of us. We cannot be apart these days, you know that. Does she care about us at all? Honey, calm down. I know my mom was just worried about me. She was afraid that I couldn't handle the finance alone. To be honest, I think she's partly right. What are you talking about? Do you think what your mom is saying is reasonable? I said partly. Okay, partly. Which part is she right about then? Well, I think you should return to work ASAP to support me financially. What? I mean, not right away, because I know we need a little bit of time so that the baby will become accustomed to her grandma. But I guess, like, a week? Hang on. What I see here is that you totally agree with your mother. Not partly, as you said. Well, what can I tell you? Samuel, I'm asking you again. Do you really want me to return to work now? Yes, as soon as possible. I think you've stayed at home long enough with the baby. You need to change your environment by finding a job, or at least a part-time job. Even when your daughter is just one week old and your wife is still recovering from childbirth. Are you serious right now, Samuel? Oh, I'm just telling you what's on my mind, okay? I need you to go to work. I can't be the only one in this family working my ass off to raise our baby. I didn't say that I wouldn't work. I will, but I need more time. Not right after giving birth a week ago, okay? The bottom line is, our daughter needs me. Also, you talked me into staying at home because you could make enough money for the three of us. What's the matter now? Where is that utterly resolute man? I thought I could, but it turned out that raising a child costs much more than I expected. In the last week alone, we spent hundreds of dollars. That's crazy. Hey, I didn't spend a dime on me, okay? Those are all for our baby. I only bought the necessary stuff for her. But you're spending way too much in just a week, honey. Do you think that she only uses up a diaper a day? No, but I think you'll be more economical if you're the person who makes the money, not just me. What? Oh my God, Samuel, I cannot believe you. If you're that uncomfortable with being the only income, why on earth had you asked me to quit my job in the first place? If you hadn't, we wouldn't be in this situation, and your mother would never treat me like dirt. I'm asking you a question, Samuel. Because my mom thought that you working wasn't good for the baby. Ugh, your mom again? What a good son, huh? You listen to whatever your mom says. You're so good that you don't give a crap about the health of your daughter or your wife. Don't you say that. I do care about you too. I don't see it. You only care about what your mom says. Fine, you're right. I always put my mom's opinions first. Happy? So if you don't get your ass up and work, I'll do what my mom told you. Really? You'll kick me out of your house if I don't find a job within a week? Yup. Don't assume that I cannot do that just because you're the mother of my daughter. I can't bear you staying in my home and spending all my money without working. What in heaven's name did I do so wrong? Let me tell you something, my dear husband. Just so you know, even if I stay at home all day, I'm still super busy taking care of our baby. Taking care of a baby is much harder than you can imagine. Then do you think it is easy to earn enough money for two adults and a baby? Not at all. Uh, you're an irresponsible man. You insisted that I quit my job, but now you're blaming me for doing nothing? You and your mother are being completely ridiculous. Don't you dare talk like that about my mother, Vanessa. What? 
I'm only speaking my thoughts. Remember, you're jobless. You should be grateful for us for all the utilities you had in the last four months without paying a penny. Now go get a job, even a part-time job. Whatever you can find, or I'll throw you out. That's final. Fine then. I'll get out of your house, and so will my daughter. I'll bring her with me. Oh no. You can go, but she stays with us. You're no longer the person who can decide what I should do. I was so stupid when I listened to you and quit my well-paying job. But not anymore. I've come to a final decision. What decision? Are you going to take my daughter away from me? Absolutely. I can't stand the sight of you and your family. And I can't stand being treated like dirt. I want a divorce. A divorce? <laughs> Vanessa, are you sober enough to think? You don't have a job. And you're also tied to a baby. How on earth do you think that you can make ends meet without me, huh? No, I'm done, Samuel. You just said that you'd put your mom first. I can see that there's no way you'll change your mind. Not for me, or for your daughter. So that's it. We're done. Wow, my wife is out of her mind. Come on, Vanessa. All you need to do now is go find a job. That's really not a big deal. Why are you making this marriage so hard for both of us? No, this marriage wasn't hard at all until you and your mother forced me to quit my job. But you know what? On second thought, I think it's my fault. Because I let you two interfere too much in my decision, you bastard. Okay, fine. Leave then. But watch you crawl back to me within a week. Oh, Samuel. You're really underestimating this pathetic, jobless wife of yours. Even if all I have is my daughter, I'll still give her a better life without an irresponsible and unreliable father like you. Oh, and let's not forget the cruel grandmother. There is no way you can make it. You'll beg me to take you back. Dream on, bastard. Vanessa, bring back my grandchild. Hi, Amara. I'm sorry, I'm not going to obey your orders anymore. After all, you're my soon-to-be ex-mother-in-law. Who needs an ungrateful daughter-in-law like you anyways? Just give me my grandchild. Sorry, she's staying with me. Nonsense! She'll stay with the father, not an unemployed mother like you. You don't even have enough money to buy her diapers. Where are you? We will go there and bring the baby back. Don't worry. My parents will buy anything she needs without any complaint. Not like your son. The more important thing is that they don't ever call me a useless wife like you did. And they're supporting me way better than your family ever did. They don't mind spending a thousand dollars on her. And they won't force me to work right away. You know what? When they found out what you talked to me about that day, they got so upset and brought my daughter and me to their home instantly. My father said that if Samuel were there, he would have definitely given my dear husband a punch on the nose. Lucky for him, huh? Are you threatening us to stay away from you? You better not doubt my parents' ability, because they have enough power and money to ruin your son's career or his body. Maybe both. My son is going to sue you and get my granddaughter back. Don't you know that the custody of a newborn infant is given to the mother? I think you should consider carefully before making a decision if you don't want to lose thousands of dollars on hiring a good lawyer. Well, look at how you reacted when I spent your son's money on shopping for my daughter. I can tell that you'd never want to lose that money on the lawsuit that I'll absolutely win anyways. It's a heads I win, tails you lose case. You're out of your mind. Lawyers are not that expensive. You can ask an attorney for advice if you want to be sure, but I don't think that's free. Enough! I'll find another wife for my son, and she'll definitely be better than you. Wow, you gave up faster than I thought, Amara. You're always putting the money first, huh? Are you scared already? <laughs> my son will have a new wife, and they'll have a new baby. We don't need a useless wife like you anymore. You should know that if I want to, I can make more money than your son. I didn't because I put him first and I didn't want to hurt his enormous ego. I was always an understanding wife, but he turned out to be a greedy, petty mama's boy. 
I'm happy that I've seen his true colors. You're lying. I know for sure that you'll have to beg for help from my son. You're so funny. My parents are rich and generous. Why on earth do I have to beg your son? It's never going to happen. You're showing your arrogance way too much. You better not beg my son to get back with you. We'll never take you back. If you made up your mind, don't bother me and my daughter again. Both you and your irresponsible son. Goodbye, mother-in-law. After that, I soon divorced my mama's boy husband, and of course, I successfully got custody of my daughter. After the divorce, Samuel sometimes tried to talk to me and beg me to get back with him, which is totally hilarious. But I put my foot down. I don't think his mother knew about that. After just one month of trying, he suddenly disappeared, and I could tell that was because his mother found out what he was doing behind her back. I got a message from her saying, stay away from my son. What? Whatever. I got a new well-paying job after that. My mom and my dad would babysit my daughter when I was at work. They helped me a lot, and I couldn't thank my parents enough. We're living a happy life together. But guess what happened next? One year later, Amara, my ex-mother-in-law, suddenly called me and begged me and my daughter to come back because my ex-husband, Samuel, had gotten in a serious car accident and was diagnosed with infertility. She also wanted me to take care of him and support him financially because he couldn't go to work for the next six months. I mean, can we just appreciate how ironic that whole situation is? As the saying goes, in life, one will reap what they sow. Needless to say, my answer was a giant no. I then cut all ties with them right away. Goodbye, toxic family. <laughs>